Hello, this is Chris Cruzan. This is almost 3 p.m. on uh, Tuesday, December 19th, 2023. And we're doing a walking video in the north part of Nicosia, Cyprus. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm here in Cyprus for uh, for two weeks. So I'm going to do some videos. You're probably going to watch this video in 2024. And I'm right on uh, Arasta Street. And you can see the Hagia Sophia Mosque right over there. That's two, two minarets. We'll see the other one in just a second. So this is Arasta Street. And this is the minaret right over there. Let's go this way and go go to the Bukhan. It's a little bit hard to film without Tunchar Bagish Khan. Uh, if you didn't know by now, he uh, he died a couple of weeks ago. He's the Turkish Cypriot uh, retired archaeologist that was with me every time I was filming the video on the side of the of the divide. Uh, so that's why I sound a little bit sad, and but I'm gonna get over it. This is uh, the Bukhan. It's been here for a long time, probably 500 years. I'm gonna go in and do a quick video. So this is the Bukhan. Beautiful Bilohu architecture. How beautiful this place is. It's called the Bukhan. Okay, let's go back right outside, continue our, our little walk here. Tell the Bukhan. <coughs> All right, let's go. Let's see where we're gonna go. Let's go out this way. I think this is the small hand that Kumal Chilar is called. Smaller the hand than the, the one you just saw. And then let's just uh, keep walking here, see where we gotta go. Again, I, I'm usually with Tun Sherbagish Khan when I uh, film these videos. But today I'm uh, all by myself. And this is the north part of Nicosia, Cyprus the Turkish Cypriot uh, side of the divide of the uh, Nicosia and just gonna go this way it's beautiful weather it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit and it's sunny and I left from Chicago two days ago I was cold here is real nice and warm so I'm it's going to take me a while to get adjusted to the temperature. I'm just wearing a light jacket. Let's go back this way. The streets are getting narrower and narrower. It's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, beautiful architecture. You see these old houses here. Look how beautiful this street is. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know which way I'm gonna go. Let's go. Uh, let's go this way. No idea what this street is. I may have filmed this before with Tuchera. This this street, I just don't remember it. 
So the last time I was in Cyprus was 2019, and it's because of COVID. I didn't come for four years. All right, let's just keep walking, see where we're gonna go. You see another, I mean, another jami right over there, another mosque. It's very narrow, ladies and gentlemen. This street, I have to be careful. There's a car coming. Oh, I hear a car. I don't know if it's coming or not. Look at this beautiful, beautiful houses. Real nice uh, architecture, narrow streets. And then we're going this way. Okay, there's a car coming. But it's going the other way. All right, let's see what we can go. This is uh, this is Bellavie Bazaar. It says municipal market. Oh, that's where I guess the area we came from. Let me just go this way. Alai. Sorry, I don't. Sorry about my Turkish. Alai, Alai Bay. So cock. I know so cock means street. And Alai Bay is the name of the street. Uh, let's go down this way. And you see some stores here. Sultan, Kirkik, Kwaforu. This is New Trends, a hairstyle place. And Go down this way, the Tash University. A lot of places have changed. All right, let's go down this way. So that's the Tash University on my right. On the left, you have places to eat. And we're just gonna go straight. I have no idea, ladies and gentlemen, where I'm going. <laughs> but I'm showing you the north part of the Kusia Cypress. It looks different from the one I filmed before. So I may have started the video backwards. And I'm trying to go also to Zakra Street and Victoria Street. You know, Victoria Street is the uh, Armenian quarter. And then you have Zakra Street right up on the hills. They open up some bars and restaurants there Kirinya Avenue okay that sounds familiar Kirinya Avenue yeah let's go to let me go let's go straight now I don't want to go to Kirinya Avenue yet because Kirinya Avenue will be the one walking back and if you like my videos, ladies and gentlemen, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe underneath this video. Or go to youtube.com slash chriscruzanspresents if you're watching this from any other social media platform. And it's beautiful, beautiful houses here. This is the Genel Merkesh Sevki K. Kartashik Dernasi. I'm trying to read Turkish. I think I'm doing better pronouncing the word, the, the language done before. So let's go straight. Another beautiful house, look at this. Look how beautiful this uh, architecture from the past. And then you have a supermarket. A supermarket and then you have a King Park TC. Now the barber shop. That's the second barber shop that I seen so far. By the way, I just came from a barber shop. Barber shop on the south part of the city. Yeah, I, I had a full haircut, shampoo and shave. So let's go straight now. Until I see something familiar. So far, the street doesn't look familiar. 
the ones I remember is that's that's me Tommy Tommy's me Zan Tommy's man I'm saying it wrong Zachary Street Victoria Street let's see where we go good thing about when I get lost in my videos I give you bonus coverage oh my god look how narrow this street is and this car is coming behind me she wouldn't get you by a car look at this beautiful house here wow some great uh, great architecture I have no idea where I'm at ladies and gentlemen this is the north part of Nicosia I don't have to turn anymore with me <laughs> to guide me, but his spirit is with me. Another sukkah here. Narrow and narrow. Narrow and narrow streets. Very narrow streets, patient. So let's go down this way. All right. I'm gonna try to walk, but there is another car coming behind me, so I'm gonna wait till the car passes before I, I walk. And I see a lot of kids walking by. It probably it must be a school here somewhere. All right, now we are on Salalai Sokak, but I think it's the other one going that way. Look how narrow this street. It reminds me a lot of uh, the other part of Nicosia, the, the Greek, uh, the Greek Cypriot part. It looks very, very, very the same. Look at this, how beautiful these narrow streets are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we walk. This way. I wonder if this is Tanziman Street. Hmm. Let's go down this way. Now it looks a little bit familiar. That, that, that could be Tanziman Street. We'll find out in a minute. It looks like it, but I could be wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I think that's Zakra Street over there. Yeah, I think this is Dazimon Street. And that's why I see the Jantinkaya building. No, oh, it's not the Jantinkaya building, it's new. see here hopefully I have one of the Turkish Cypriot friends or followers uh, on YouTube recognize me and we'll start talking so it's like give me some directions where, where, I, where I'm going uh, this is this Istanbul street so that's not the street I'm looking for all right let's go down this way Better get on the, on the sidewalk. There's a lot of cars coming. So I stay on the side here. I think if you go straight, you go to the Little Palace Hotel. I could be wrong. It's okay, but don't fight Zakhra Street because I can still come back uh, on a different day and go there, and go the other way. And then look at this beautiful area here. 
And then we have... Uh, man, this looks just like my, where my uncle is on the other side. Uh, looks like just for all of you in Cyprus that know what I'm talking about, it looks like Platia Colocasio on the other side. But it's not, it's totally different. Alright, let's just keep going this way. I have the feeling we're going to end up at the Little Palace Hotel, which is another checkpoint. Once we see the Little Palace Hotel, <laughs> I'll go back and stop the video, or I'll continue the video from the other side, because we only been filming 15 minutes. It hasn't been that long. Let's see if we can cross without getting hit by a car. There's a lot of traffic here. Oh, let's, go. let's just go straight. We're going this way. There's another uh, poplar garden here. Look at this. Again, it looks just like the other side, but it's definitely not the other side. Or on the Turkey side. I'm talking about the Greek side. But, whatever street this is, uh, we're getting bonus with H because I'm completely lost. I'm just gonna keep walking and uh, filming for you. Again, somebody may recognize me from my Turkish Cypriot YouTube followers. And say hi, it happens all the time when I come on this side of town and see what happens. And usually my trademark is my hat, where am I? My hat, in this case uh, today I'm wearing my, my winter hat. All right. And there's actually a lot of uh, Turkish Cypriot friends want to meet me and walk with me. So let's see where we're going. I'm gonna have to go back in the neighborhood and show you the streets because I have no idea where I'm going. No uh, concentration or whatever. This way, see my man. I think I'm going to go back on this side. Let's go back then. Difficult, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea where to start or where to go. One thing I notice, uh, notice uh, this time of day, there's a lot of kids on the streets. They look like school kids. You don't see them on, video, on the video, they're on the other side of the street, but there is... Uh, oh, this looks familiar, this structure here. I saw it in one of the Facebook posts, this picture. But I have no idea what... Uh, what it is. All right, we're in the north part of Nicosia. It's about 3.15 p.m. now on uh, Tuesday, December 19, 2023. And I'm doing a walking video in the north part of Nicosia. As you can see, as you can tell, without to turn by Gishkan, my, my uh, best friend, Turkish CPO friend that died a few weeks ago, may his, may his soul rest in peace. Actually, I wanted to go to the cemetery and visit his grave and say hello and goodbye, but 
so far nobody knows where is that located so I st I'm gonna be here for two weeks hopefully I get to find it and and uh, give my respects to him over there so it's a lot of traffic over here not too many people walking but there's a lot of uh, Traffic. So let's see. Let's see where we can go. And let's go this way. Actually, a sign there. Let's see if I can look at the sign. There's the style world city is this way. Carina Gate is this way. Alright, we'll go back. We'll go back the we'll go back this way. Yeah, we'll go back the same way. We came from if I can find Garinia having you Carinia gate I should be good so this video is gonna be at least I'm guessing uh, an hour long we are approaching the 30 minute mark. One thing you have to worry about here not getting hit by a car is because two reasons. One, the street is narrow and then you can see they're parking right on the side here. Car in the middle of the street, ladies and gentlemen, with tires. Hopefully, it won't move. And we'll go back. Yeah, let's go back the way we came from and continue where we left off. I thought this was Tanziman Street. I know I'm not saying the street correctly, but it wasn't, it's something different. And that look, looks like a school over on the right. And let's see, let's just keep walking this way. Now this is a one-way street, so I don't have to worry about getting hit by a car coming behind me, but I can get hit by a car coming in front of me, towards me. I'm actually very happy I'm over here filming. I'm just very sad that my friend died. It's gonna take me a while to get over it. I have to do my best. May he rest in peace to Charbagish Khan. Okay, let's see here. I think this is the way we came. We are in narrow streets. I hear cars coming. One more car. One more car. All right, this is Abdi. Abdi Kavus. Abdi Kavus Sokak. Let's go on this side of the street so we can avoid the traffic here. And actually, it's better that I'm walking against the traffic versus with the traffic. That way, I don't have to look behind me. This is a one. This is probably also a one-way street. Hopefully we'll run into Victoria Street and the Catholic Church. I'm trying to uh, to find it, but it doesn't look. Uh, 
Doesn't look uh, doesn't look familiar at all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> These people driving. Hopefully, I'm waiting for uh, somebody to recognize me, so I can start a conversation. I'm dying to talk to somebody here, somebody that I know, somebody that knows me. Another car coming out of nowhere here. Better go fast. Konyali, in the market. All right, let's go out this way. Another car coming, so we have to be very careful with the cars. All right, let's just let me just walk a little bit fast. I'm not even sure if this is the street I came in to begin with. But it looks good, looks beautiful. Yeah, it is the street. I see the beautiful house I saw earlier. Well, at least we know how to go back. <laughs> I may be filming you the same thing twice. One going back and one going forward. Or well, I may not. I wasn't actually planning to come here today. I was planning to to film the old part of Nicosia in the south part, in the Greek side. And then I, once I reached the green line, the green line, the the checkpoint on Lidras and Lok Magistri, then I decided to to do this video. All right, narrow car. Look how many cars. It's so narrow. It is so narrow, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just keep walking. So I'm completely lost, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in the north part of Nicosia, Cyprus. And I have no idea where exactly I am at. But I like it, I feel safe. It's beautiful. Architecture is beautiful, all, all these buildings here. Let's go on the other side of, of the street. Too many cars, too many cars coming this way. Another beautiful. We got a little house here. Probably stay on this side to be safe. There's too many cars. This way, I think this is the, the way where the where we came. It's hard to say. Hard to say that. I think we came this this area before. A lot of fruit, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's go straight. So somewhere over here is Carina Avenue, according to the sign. But again, you're getting bonus footage. Look at another beautiful, another beautiful, another beautiful house. More fruit. I'm getting hungry now. Beautiful, beautiful fruits here and vegetables. Real, real healthy store here. Let's go down the 
Uh, there's a hotel here, Kaya Hotel, M Kaya Hotel, N Kaya Hotel. There it is. How beautiful this hotel is. Alright, let's go down this way. I hear music now, so it must be a bar or a restaurant over here. Oh, we need to go market, so we're going to follow the sign. Uh, it's the same uh, same way we came, but this time we, we do a little bit more discovery. When we get over there, I say that's the... <laughs> I remember this sign from before, so we're on the right. And this is exactly the same uh, way we came in the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. I just don't recognize it. No landmarks, no nothing for me to remember except the except the street sign and some of the some of the beautiful oh, oh yeah here's a landmark there the the Kumik Chilar I think it is called the hand the small hand I was telling you. Alright we did a a 30 minute video so far and now we're gonna go past the Biocon but this time we're gonna go towards the Hagia Sophia mosque now I know exactly where I'm at and then if we have time we go also to the municipal market the Pandabulia is called all right so we're gonna make a left this is the Kumachilar hand I was telling you the small hand and this is the Hagia Sophia with these two minarets oh one of them is looks like it's getting renovated well, we'll find out in a minute I'm not even sure that's we came to this street before yeah we did we came this way actually let's go this way this time maybe we'll run to the Hagia Sophia on this side and this street over here we'll find out in a minute another beautiful building here house and Carina Avenue now is pointing that way. Why is it pointing that way? I don't know. This is another park. Let's see. Another beautiful, beautiful structure here. Alright, I'm gonna be in the middle of the street now. Walking. Take a, might as well take a picture. This camera allows me to take pictures and photographs at the same time. That's the Hagia Sophia right there. It has two minarets. It looks like one is getting uh, renovated. So let's go this way. Hopefully it will take us right in front of it. I do remember this street. I think there is a, some kind of a jazz club or blues club over here that I was listening to music. Last time I came with two chair. I could be wrong, but it was right on the side here. Last time I was here in, in uh, the North Pole of Nicosia and Cyprus in general, where it's in 2019, though this is four years later. There it is. That is beautiful. I think as soon as we turn, we're going to see that uh, jazz clock I was telling you, jazz bar or, or something like that. But at least they play jazz music. Now you see, you see the we're right in front of the Ayaf Sophia Mosque now, and it looks like Salamai, Salamai Mosque uh, Jami is called. See, it's all surrounded, blocked with all this signs here. Oh, well, this is the Asim Efendi Sokak, by the way, street. And you see the this is what I'm talking about. This is the you can see the minaret over here. It's getting renovated, and it tells you right here what they're doing. I don't read Turkish, but I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure he's saying about the renovation here. 1048 something. Meditation or zoo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see the jazz club that I was telling you. It's probably closed by now. It was right over here somewhere. Maybe, maybe they closed it. Yeah, it's not there anymore. 
I'm pretty much pretty much know where I'm at now. I'm right in front of the the landmark that I guess Sophia landmark. It's been here for hundreds of years, if not thousands. I think this is Arasta Street. Yeah, that's Arasta Street. Right over here, this is Arasta Street. This is the street we uh, we started the video. So let's just walk a little bit. Uh, and then there's a kebab place there. Oh, this is the Bandabulia I was telling you. So let's just let's just go right in, and then we'll come out. We we go on the Yasofia. Look at this, 1932, Hazari or Pandabulia as they call it in in Turkish and in Greek it's, it's called Pandabulia. So Lefkosha is Nikosia, Pandabulia, you see the word Pandabulia, it says Kosh Kildini, welcome to the Pandabulia. And we'll go right in and show you. And this guy I know, he speaks Greek. Oh no, maybe not, not a different guy. There was a guy here from uh, from Paphos. We'll see on the way out. Maybe the other guy on the other side. So this is this is the Vandabulia. I'm going to show you. There is an inscription in Greek here of a store. It may have been a Greek store before the troubles of the 70s and 60s and 50s. But right now. Look at this, look at this beautiful stores they have. I just keep walking. Mini shops and so the one I'm telling you about the Greek inscriptions, Greek writing, I want to show you is right here. I think it may have been a a name may have been a name of a, of a painter or somebody Maybe that own uh, the store. See here it is, right here. Oh, he's a painter. His painting is right above it. I think it's called Savas Surimis. You see? See that? So that maybe he's painting, or maybe it's just a paint shop that that uh, that somebody else designed the painting there, and then they put his name because his name was there, I guess before. Interesting. Let's take a picture. Savas Surimis. And let's see here. It's clear that we can go back this way. So this is where the Los Hermos are most straight, but it's totally blocked off. I'll show you where the yeah, there is like a wall. It's right over there. It's it used to be a I mean the street is still there, it's just blocked off. This is Ermo Ermo Street. And then here I think there is like a town. Like a, a grave of somebody from the probably the Ottoman uh, Ottoman period. So this is another opening for our mostry. This is our mostry, I think, right here. I believe I could be wrong. Take a picture. And then let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. I think there is a place here where they cut meat, a crobolio, like a butcher shop. Again, I haven't been there since 2019, so a lot of things have changed. Oh, it's still there. Adi Kasab. Kasabis. Kasabis in Greek and Turkish means butcher. Oh, no, that's not the one. That's a different store, but it looks like this one. Right behind this one, they had uh, some refrigerators in there, so maybe they... Maybe they close it by now. And this brings brings back a lot of memories. I came here with the chair, and then we interview people here. A few of them have died already, unfortunately, that were here. But a lot of them are still alive. So let's see if the guy I saw where is the guy who speaks Greek from Paphos. I don't, I don't see him. 
No, that's right. He's Osman. His name is Osman. He owns this. But I don't recognize him. I don't see him. No, I don't recognize him. I don't see him. And this is his uh, Osman Tikaret. All right, let's go back. Uh, so he must be here somewhere. But we don't have time. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, continue. To... So obviously we can't go to Hagia Sophia. It's closed. It's blocked off all the way around. But here it is, right here. Beautiful, beautiful structure from the past. Take a picture. All right. And let's go down this way. Let's see what's actually we go the other way because there's a lot of uh, music playing here that may be interfering with the copyrights. So let's go down this way. There's when there's music, ladies and gentlemen, recorded music audio in the video that is coming from anywhere, it kind of interferes with the video, and then YouTube ends up deleting the deleting the audio and the video so this is back to our Russia street so we're gonna go back same way we came from so we did already film 40 minutes and we got to see uh, we came from uh, we came from our Russia street and then we went to um, Bukhan <laughs> and then from Bukhan we went all the way around got lost but we end up filming uh, very good footage, like I always do when I get lost. Same thing happened to me when I was in Istanbul. And in, uh, what was the other place that I was? I don't remember the other place, but there was a couple of countries I went to cities where I got lost and it turned out to be a very good footage because I took you the long way. All right, this is our Astro Street, so let's just start heading back. And then we'll try to go to, uh, let's try to go the way I know to, uh, to Victoria Street. That's a different uh, route from here. We we'll try to make this a 60 minute, one hour, one hour video. So there's more music come out of here. So I have to keep talking loud and move around, move around fast so I don't get any issues with the, with the copyrights. And then there was a gentleman here, His name is Suleiman, he died as well. He, I interview him. I don't know who's running the store now. I don't, his, 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 his family. So the way I interviewed him in, 20, in 2019 before he died, I, I uh, just like that, I was walking on the street filming, going the other way, and then he stopped me in the middle of the street and asked me, are you, you Chris Chris Eisen? And I told him yes. And then we ended up going to his, his shop and doing a video, and unfortunately, he died uh, a year later. May his soul rest in peace though as well. Actually, three people that died, Three people that I interviewed in 2019 have died. One was an Armenian Cypriot, one a Greek Cypriot, one a Turkish Cypriot. Uh, and uh, you can go to my YouTube channel on the play on the and search for inter. Just type the word interview, and then you'll get to see the, the videos. There's three videos actually. So far since I started filming in 2012. I think more than 10 people have died that I interview already. All different ages, all different causes of death that I'm not gonna get into. And it's kind of uh, sad and unfortunate. All right, what I wanna do now before I uh, finish the video, we have 16 more minutes. I wanna go to uh, Victoria Street, which is the Armenian, uh, Armenian, in the Armenian quarter, the all Armenian quarter, and also I want to film uh, Zak Zakra Street, which is uh, the street right across the street from uh, Lidra Palace Hotel that 
It's a very well-known student. I think they, uh, they built a lot of uh, cafes and put some lights there. So it really looks, uh, looks very nice at night. And I know, I know this is usually where I start the video from here, but in the beginning I decided to go straight on Arasta Street. That's why I got lost. So this, uh, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it's called uh, Paphos, Paphos Street. In Turkish is Bath, Sokak, and in Greek is Odos Paphos. And this is connected to the Paphos Street on the other side, on the Greek side. So let's go straight this way. This looks very familiar. This is the area that. I always started my videos with Tuchar Bakishkar, my, my good friend uh, that is gone now, uh, Turkish Cypriot radiologist, and he was telling me, I'm going to try to remember some of the things he told me. I think this is one, this building he told me is the Hajj Bavlu building from the past, and it's sitting right on the, on the green line, and... Uh, yeah, it is Bafo Street. Remember, I was telling you Baf Sokak. So here's the name of the street, Baf Sokak. Baf Sokak. Take a picture. Yeah, and this is the Haji Bavlu building. No idea what it is now, but it's probably just sitting there. It's uh, it's on the on the on the green line, sitting right on the green line. And on the other side is the uh, United Nations, and then on the other side is the the other the other part of. Buff Sukak. All right, we'll go this way. So this area I'm very familiar with, ladies and gentlemen. This is a street uh, this way, but we're gonna go this way because we want to go to uh, to uh, Victoria Street, and this is the only way I know I know how to go to uh, to Victoria Street. And then my friend Tuchara was telling me I want to show you something. Interesting, actually, if you go back and watch the videos we did back in 2013 and 14, you're going to start laughing because, you know, joking is the best way, I guess, to tell the truth. And then Tuchero was telling me this area here, not this one. I'll show you in just a second. Actually, this, uh, this opening here, Hey, this one or the other one, this opening right over here, it's it's called it's the Hanin to Panjaro, the Panjaro's Han. There is a, a a saying in the Greek, not in the Greek only also, but in the Cypriot dialect, it says Hanin Hanin to Panjaro, and that's that's exactly how that's what uh that's what it means. And then you got all this car shops over here. All right, we're gonna make a left and go to Victoria Street. This is the way I'm familiar with. And then also we're on the back of the Armenian church and monastery. The church was restored, but the monastery for some reason did not uh, restore. So here we go. This is, uh, this is the, the Armenian monastery. It's been here thousands of years. Actually, when I first started filming this in 20, 2013 I think it was still uh, it was still getting renovated you can see the you can see the it was just like that now it did not change I'm gonna take a picture there you go and to Chirp Pakistan the archaeologist was telling me that that it was gonna be completed in a few years back then and then I don't know what happened. A few years later, the, he told me because we came again in 2016, 2017, 2015. And then he told me it just stopped. So this is the this is the Armenian monastery, church and monastery. The church I don't know if this is the church, but the church was restored, like renovated. So. This may not be the church here. The church is on the other side. And if we're lucky, we'll go inside the church. The other time, the the policeman that was sitting there let me in. Who knows when we get lucky. So this is Mehmet Hussein Sokak. And we're gonna go this way. And this is the... As you can see this 
buildings are crumbling. This is a residence actually right behind that. Now this is interesting. Uh, Tunchera was telling me because the, the Holy Holy Cross Church is right over there. You can see the you can see the that's the other part of Paphos Gate and then Tuchar was telling me about this area here so let's go this way I'll show you this is the monastery and the church right here so this is the I, I mean I got tears in my eyes because I remember Tuncher's voice now coming in my head telling me what to tell you this is Mehmet Hussein Sokak and then the church church is right here and then you can see from this little window those are the that's the lament one of the the ones on the left and one on the right those are the elementary schools maybe one is, was a secondary school but elementary school of uh, Armenian school back then we try to go inside and this is the Armenian club but they named it uh, the municipality, the Turkish Supreme Municipality took it over and they made it uh, like an art place. It's called Ark E. Lefkosha Culture. So it's a cultural center. The Arabak, they call it Arabakmer Cultural Center. That's the name of it right here. Tok Peledishi Arabakmet. Arabakmet is the name of the area as well. Culture means culture. I'm guessing Evi means center. So I'm not completely 100%, but my Turkish is improving, ladies and gentlemen. So this is uh, this was supposed to be the residence of a priest of the Armenian church, according to some of the Armenian friends. We did an Armenian documentary here. So as soon as I uh, I turn left, you're going to see the the Holy Cross Catholic Church that is on both sides of the divide. See right in the middle, it's still in uh, operation, but you cannot. Uh, so, this is Victoria Street, the Armenian. Here we go. You see, here is the church. And then everybody was asking me, What street is this on the, on the side? So, I'm going to get closer so I can show you. It's called Moftu Haki Hachialit. But this is the what I'm talking about. I'm going to take a picture. It's the Holy, Holy Cross. Uh, um, I'm gonna do a selfie as well. Just bear with me. Here I am, I took my mask off. Went to the barber. All right, took the car was coming, so the car is in the picture as well on both sides. And uh, let's do a 360. So this is the Armenian church over here. Look like it's open, of course. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to go inside. It looks, this is the Armenian elementary school, this is the Armenian church. Let's see if the church is open. So, this Armenian. Uh, elementary school and uh, Tunchara was telling me that a university took over and this is the Armenian church take another picture well, hopefully we get lucky and it's open see there's another yeah the door is open so I don't see why not we cannot go in I they let me go in before and just for the record, ladies and gentlemen, my late father was Armenian. His name was Krikor Krizans. So this is the Armenian church. Take a picture. I'm gonna also take a selfie. This is part of my culture. Very emotional 
church here, Armenian church, brings back a lot of uh, memories. Take another picture. And for all my Armenian uh, compatriots, friends, Armenian Cypriots and Armenians anywhere around the world, this is the well-known Armenian church in the north part of Nicosia Cyprus that is not in operation at the moment, but it's fully restored. Okay, that's it. We'll go right out. It's too, too emotional for me to st- stick around. I want to get more emotional now because we're going to the, to Victoria Street, the Armenian uh, quarter, Arabahmed, uh, Armenian, all Armenian. Uh, I don't know what all these flags are all about. There's some, something, must be some kind of, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a culture or event. So now we'll go to Victoria Street and then also we'll go to Zakra Street. We'll get to visit Wall Street that I wanted to visit. And then we're approaching also the one hour minute mark. Again, it's uh, Tuesday, December 19th, 2023. And the time now it's almost 4 p.m., 3.50 p.m. This is Victoria Street. I want to take a picture. Beautiful, beautiful Victoria Street. But I want to go to Zakra Street, which is this way. So let's go to Zakra Street. And there's a dog barking here somewhere. I have to, I have to be very careful. And uh, no idea what the street this is. We'll see the sign probably on the other side. And we're just heading towards Zakhar Street that now became very um, business-like. They put, uh, which is a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I like when they combine the old and the new together. And they put some, just like they did on the south part of Nicosia, they put uh, restaurants and bars and they put lights at night. It's not nighttime yet, but they did put... Uh, at least I saw it on on social media. I didn't actually see it yet. And I don't think this is Zakhar Street yet. I think this is Tanziman. And then Zakhar Street is the next one. And then you see we're right on the green line. That's the UN post over there. And then the Little Palace is somewhere over here on the other side. All right, let's see where we can go. Yeah, this is Tanziman Street, so I kind of came a little bit too far. So this is Tanziman Street. Take another picture. And then we're going to go to Zakra Street and show you the the, the, the buildings. Uh, the beautiful picture, beautiful house right over here. And I like when, the, like I said, they combine the new and the old. The renovation is really... It's really good and so this is Taziman Street and then Zakra Street is this way. And then you you'll get to see the Chantinkaya Stadium. I'll show you in a minute. See I remember I know all the streets because Tunchir came with me numerous, numerous times. You see now we have signs, ladies and gentlemen, Zakra. This is Zakra Street. And then you see all these restaurants I'm going to show you in just a second. But this is going to bring me back very emotional memories with Tunchar. This is the Chantinkaya, Chantinkaya Stadium. It looked like they put some nice grass on the stadium here. And then this is uh, Zakra Street. So we're going to take a walk on Zakra Street. And then the, I don't know if you can see the from there. That's the... the Little Palace Hotel right behind there. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful. This picture is. I like that they did the the video, but they used to have seats over here for people to sit. And what happened to those seats? Oh, they're on the other side. <laughs> oh my God, they're on the other side. Oh, I thought they were on this side when people were actually on this side. People were just sitting right here on this on this bench. All right, let's keep walking now. We got some 
music playing. So this is Zahra Street. You see all the restaurants and bars. Yeah, let's just walk a little bit. I was going to go the other way because music was playing, but the music has stopped. By, by the time the guy changes the, the music, we should be long gone for the copyrights. The good thing there is no, uh, there are no, no cars here. I think they only allowed bicycles or motorcycles and pedestrians, and then people sit here, and then you see you have all the lights. It looks good at night too. So, but it's not dark yet. Again, this is another shot of the Gentikaya Stadium here and the Little Palace Hotel right across. This is how the music has started, so I'm gonna get out of here fast. And actually, if we go, uh, maybe we'll try to do that. Maybe we'll give you bonus coverage. You know, we already film one hour. Maybe we'll go straight, because when you go straight uh, from Zahra Street that way, that's when you go to the to the Leader Palace uh, Hotel checkpoint. But, but I'm gonna show you again the Leader Palace here. That's the Leader Palace right over there. Like a picture, and then this is the Gentikaya headquarters offices there and then this beautiful see Zakra so cast this beautiful structures from the past some of these not all of them but some of this uh, are still part of the Armenian quarter so there was some Armenian uh, Armenian uh, Cypriots that own this uh, these houses I could be completely wrong I know Victoria Street for sure I don't know about Zakra Street but I think it's in the same uh, same area. All right, let's go straight and actually, Little Palace Hotel is right there. So I'm not sure if it goes to the Little Palace checkpoint. I mean, he has to go around. Probably, maybe we'll see. And if that's the case, we we'll, we we'll just end up going on the other side. And now I'll show you the. If, if we end up going to the Little Palace checkpoint, then I'll show you the. Um, I'll show you what we just saw here from the other side, right? like like I was telling you about Bafos, uh, Bafos Street, Baf Sokak, on the other side. All right, so this is our. Uh, this is where the Gentinkaya headquarters are now. There is also uh, a bar over there. So let's go. Let's go right over there and do a show you a little bit on the video here. Yeah, this is a new new place. It wasn't here before. Let's we'll see what the monument says there. Let's see. Let's see if we can go around. Again, that's the Little Palace Hotel there. So this is a monument. Let's see who this guy is. Yapan Hikmet Burke. No idea what it says, gentlemen, gentlemen, but there's a monument here for him. And then here we're gonna get a nice, beautiful shot of Zahra Street, I'm going to take a picture as well. Get a little bit closer here. Beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen, for December. is like 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees uh, in Celsius. Take a picture of Zahra Street. I want to try to do a selfie here as well. So. All right. And then we go back. So this is Zakra Street. Beautiful, beautiful Zakra Street here. So we did already an hour and four minutes. The goal for the day was to do a one hour video in the north part of Nicosia when they when I when I started filming the video. Because I wasn't sure where I was gonna go, but well, once I decided to go to the north part, once I reached the checkpoint, then I suppose well, let's make it a one, no more than an hour. But it's a good thing we made it more than an hour, because now we're 
we're going this way and and this is the Jintinkaya club football club FC I'm going to show you the the sign here that's what they have the stadium there for their the players to to play in uh, in practice as well so this is Jintinkaya stadium here I mean a uh, club established one of the oldest football clubs in Cyprus established in uh, 1930 TSK TSK Jintinkaya yeah a lot of things have changed since 2019 on Zakhar Street uh, when they, they they build a lot of this uh, bars and restaurants and and uh, and it, to me, it's a positive thing. They still preserve the architectural and the quality of the street here, the history. And then they added, uh, they added uh, these new places. All right. I guess they have this gate here so don't, cars don't come on Zakra Street. So it's car free. That part I like because I used to film on Zakra Street and then I had to watch my back and my front for cars coming okay let's go down this way and we're gonna start heading back I'm gonna take a chance and take remember in the beginning of the, not in the beginning right in the middle of the video around the 20 minute mark I was telling you this looks like Taziman and Zakhar Street and then it belong it, it looks like we may go to the Little Palace Hotel where it is is right this is what I was talking about and if you go back and look at the video it looks exactly the same you know there was a there was a big up the Venetian I forgot to mention the, the actual word Venetian walls I just said a public garden but you see there's Venetian walls I want to show you the Venetian walls I'm not kidding they're over there and they're over here as well and it's on the both sides of the device and then if you remember there was an opening here that I thought it was Tanziman Street now I got the name of that see now now we're uh, now we're talking you see I don't even have to explain to you anymore it says Zakhra this way and it says Tanziman this way so just to make it more obvious to you this is Tanziman Street you see see when I was when I said I'm gonna return back to where I came from this is where I thought I was going but it wasn't the case it was uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm laughing, ladies and gentlemen. This is the, uh, this is where I was trying to go. So where I started walking this way, uh, like 30 minutes ago, and I thought it was this street, and it wasn't. See now, uh, it's a little bit more obvious to me. I think the way we're going now. If I go straight, I don't think I'm going to go to the Little Palace Hotel. The Little Palace Hotel, Hotel. I think I have to make a left. But I think if I go straight, I'm going to end up at uh, uh, where we began the, the, the video on Lokomaji. I mean, we began the video on Lokomaji and Arasta Street. So I think that's where it's going to turn out to be. So let's just... No, correction. We are going to go on Lokomaji, but I think if you go straight this way... Again, if I make a mistake again, you're going to get another... Bar, another another uh, bonus video footage and I think um, I guess what I'm trying to say if you go straight you're gonna go to Carina Avenue but I could be uh, I could be completely wrong so let's let's see if no cars are coming We're going this way. Thank you, sir. You let me go, so that's, that's a good thing. So I could be, I could be wrong, but I think it's going to go to uh, Carina Avenue. If I go straight, and it's really, really hard to stay on the sidewalk here. Let me, let me try to stay a little bit more. I want to get hit by a car. You see, remember I walked through this a similar uh, way earlier, <laughs> much with the same architects. That built both places, both streets, designed the streets, or whatever you're gonna call them, civil engineers, not architects, civil engineers. All right. I feel a little bit better, ladies and gentlemen, from the beginning. In the beginning, I was really sad that Tuncher died, but now I'm still sad, but I'm happy at the same time because Tuncher, 
<laughs> to Char Spirit. He's coming into me and telling me where to go. I'm pretty sure to Char is with me right now from above or from below watching me and directing me where to go. So thank you to Char if you are watching me. Thank you. Even though I didn't post the video yet. But you are watching it and you're doing it with me so I'm dedicating all these videos especially in the North Park on Nifkusia to you all right let's go straight and see where we're gonna go I can see we're gonna get lost again but at least at least we don't know how to come back I think I think it will go we'll, Take us to Gurinya Gate because the Little Palace Hotel is behind me, it's not in front of me. Now, those cars coming on both sides, very narrow streets, ladies and gentlemen. But I love it, this wouldn't be Cyprus without them, without this uh, narrow streets, without these obstacles, and without all these cars coming behind me. So, I'm not complaining, I'm just describing. How oh, the situation is. Now you got a thousand cars coming behind me. Very, very small sidewalk. I can't even get on the sidewalk. It's too small. So let's go. Let's go straight. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're, we're going to end up at Kirinya Gate. So this looks more and more familiar to me. And, and keep in mind, when I came with the chair here on this street, I, actually we did it twice. We did it one by vehicle and one by, by on foot. So I think the part that I remember is when we were in the car looking and he told me, I'm going to drop you off on Kirinya Avenue and you can just walk from there to Lokomuchi, check when and go home. That's where the was going because he couldn't park over there. And it turned out to be... A good thing because I was filming bonus videos like I was starting a new video from Carinia Street, Carinia Gate and go all the way. And now finally we've got a sidewalk. Oh, there's a roundabout, man, I don't see the Carinia Gate. <laughs> I do see these beautiful houses here. So this is gonna be this video is gonna be more that I was bargained for. I want to get more than I was bargained for. I was shooting for a one hour video and now it's one hour, 13 minutes already. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm not, I don't really have any other plans. My only goal today was to do one or two videos. And actually I love it because it's going to get dark. And I'm going to go and film the La Dia Lefteria, Lefteria Square where they have the lights. Christmas lights and then they have also uh, uh, another place they did like a lunar park as well all right let's see where we're gonna go hopefully we're, we're close to Karinya gate I'll take a chance we're gonna keep walking straight yeah I think this is Carinia gate I'm pretty sure I see the Venetian Venetian, Venetian uh, walls over here and Vene oh here is the Carinia gate oh yes I was looking across the street but it's the same thing as this one the Carinia gate right over here this is Carinia Carinia Avenue, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the Carinia. I know exactly where I'm at right now. So it's a piece of cake from here. So let's take a picture of Carinia Gate. All right, this is Carinia Gate. And I don't see any sidewalk on this side. But there is sidewalk on the other side. So let's see. This wasn't here before. I mean the sidewalks. So let's cross on the sidewalk and go that way. So 
So this is Karinya Gate, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like it's getting uh, renovated. Hopefully nobody's coming. So this is Ataturk, I believe. Let's go on the other side and get a, show you a picture of Ataturk, the founder of the modern founder of, uh, of Turkey. There you go, Mr. Ataturk. This Gerenia Gate right over there. And now the question is. Which one is Carinya Avenue that I want to go? It's all Carinya Avenue, but all right, we gotta go. In the old days, I used to go straight from here, so I don't know what happened. Well, I guess we're gonna find out in a minute. Let's see what the sign says. No, it's not really not really telling us anything a lot of traffic this is definitely an avenue i'm pretty sure this is Karinya avenue but Karinya avenue before it will go straight this way ladies and gentlemen not this way not that way and this is a community community again square Let's see if uh, we're going the right, right direction. There's some buses here. Why wow, it looks different? Oh, I wanted to go to the Kering Avenue where all the shops are. So I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction. There's another roundabout there. Yeah, everything changed big time. Kirinya Avenue. Wow. And what is this over here? Wow, I, I have no idea what happened, ladies and gentlemen. It looks completely different. Chirinha Avenue has disappeared. <laughs> I got this feeling this video is going to be two hours long. And I'm not complaining, I love it. This, like in the beginning, we got lost. I gave you the 30 minute bonus video footage. Now I'm completely lost because you have another roundabout. Wasn't here before. All right. Let's go straight. Sorry. Kering Avenue? I don't know. You don't know? Turkish. At Turkish. At the two square? No? There is, maybe there's. There. Maybe that straight? Maybe yes, straight. <laughs> okay, he didn't know either. So at least I'm not I'm not alone. Alright, let's see here. Lefkosha Turk. I'm practicing my Turkish now. Bashkentin Yeni Kultur Ve Arsiv Merkezi. Kultur, I know it means culture. By the way, I have the Cyprus I, uh, I um, created and I ministered the Cyprus Culture Group on Facebook. So if you guys want to know about Cyprus history and culture, go to facebook.com slash Cyprus Culture. And then you can see the the video the the group there and then you can apply it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm completely lost. 
Okay. Do I want to go this way or that way? No idea. I'm gonna ask somebody. Excuse me, you know Kirinya Avenue? Kirinya Avenue? Kirne Avenue? Kirne Sokak? No? Yeah. So, that oh, Kirinya Avenue is that way, she said. All right. Okay. We definitely were in the wrong place, so let's go to Kirnera. Uh, and this help. This doesn't help. Oh, there is a sign. This is the Kemal Fuchel Avenue. So I wasn't on Kirinya Avenue. So it's good. Good. Uh, the lady pointed him out to come this way. At least I'm gonna, the next person I'm going to see, I'm going to ask Gurnye, Gurnye, Sokak, Gurnye. It's Gurnye Street, but I don't know how to say Avenue in. I should have seen at this. Look at the sign. All right. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to go back. I want to go to the Rooster Bookshop, which is on Gurnye Avenue. Well, where we are now, it doesn't look like anywhere like Kirinya Avenue. So this is definitely not Kirinya Avenue, but what threw me off is, is the Kirinya Gate. At least it looked like Kirinya Gate. Maybe it's, maybe it wasn't Kirinya Gate. Maybe it just looks like it. All right, let's find out. Good thing it's not dark yet, and, and by the time I get to the Greek side, south part of the city, and it be dark so I can show you the lights of the Lefteria Squad, but that will be a totally different uh, video because I'm going to stop this video uh, once we reach the, uh, the checkpoint because you cannot film while you're getting checked for identification and it's totally di two different videos. All right, let's see, ladies and gentlemen. So we made it, we made it this far. Excuse me, Girne Sokak, Girne Avenue, Girne Sokak. Where the courts are? You, yeah. Girner. No, Girner Sokak. No, no, no. Girner Sokak. In Nicosia, yeah. This? Yeah. It's new. No. Girner Cafe. No, no, no. Yes, yes, please. Karinya Avenue. Where is Karinya Avenue? Karinya City. No, not the city. Karinya Avenue. Gate. No Avenue. No. Kenya, Kenya, Gate. Kenya Gate. Kenya Gate is here. Yeah, but where is the other street that goes up? No, this street. You go up. You go this way? Yes. Here, here like and I'm going to go to the courts. Court? You know the Atatuk Square? Suleiman Square, Atatuk Square. Rooster uh, Bookshop. But carrying it this way. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see. This is it. All right. He said Kirinya. This is the Kirinya. This is the Kirinya gate, right? Here. Oh, now I know. No wonder I got confused. I I actually came from a different. Oh, okay. Now now I think I know where I'm at. Let's go on the other side. I know where I'm at now. <laughs> this is the street I was talking about. It goes straight. I, I we came. I came the other. I came the other way. Oh my God! That's all right. Well, anyway, I gave you some uh, bonus footage. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is where we're going. Yeah. 
and I, I saw this and I went the other way I guess this is the way we, we came I don't know how I missed how I missed this part and that's where I wanted to take the picture oh my god it's, it's so symmetrical it looks exactly the same all right, I'm gonna go on the other side now I know exactly where I'm at we're gonna go on the other side and take the the picture of, of Gurinya Gate which is this one well the other one is Gurinya Gate we took the picture I want to take another one actually I can take it actually from here let me just position myself there you go that's Gurinya Gurinya Gate all right now we're uh, now I'm in business now I know exactly where I'm at this is what I was looking for where all the store all the shops are Kirinya Kirinya Gear Kirinya Sokat Kirinya Avenue actually it, and I, I know exactly where I'm at and then we, we're gonna go to the uh, Atatuk Square Suleiman Square or something like that and then the courts are there and then Western Bookshop is there now this is a well-known I uh, think Cheryl was giving me the information about this one look like it's closed right now but this is a a museum a Mechlevy museum it looks like it's getting renovated Sincero was telling me about this if you go back and walk watch the old videos of North Nicosia then you can have Tuncher you can hear Tuncher tell you exactly what the, the place was but we're on Carina Avenue for sure now ladies and gentlemen we did not we got lost for a few minutes thank, thank God I asked somebody and told me to come back if not, who knows where we'll have gone. And then the Lokmaji uh, Lidras checkpoint, is all, it's all the way at the end of the, the hill there. So we should be done with this video in no more than 30 minutes. So I guess it's probably going to be a two-hour video. Or anywhere between 1.30 and two hours. Unless we meet somebody and start talking. It may be more. Now right over here we had a newspaper. Kinsa City newspaper. Where did it go? I thought it was right here. Oh no, maybe it's the next next corner. The vice president of uh, of the first vice president of the Republic of Cyprus. His name is Dr. Kuchok. He was a physician and also a journalist and a vice president. His house. Oh, here it is. It's right here. It's right here. I'll show it to you in just a second. And then right next to it is the his newspaper, Kinsa City. So. This is the this is the building. Dr. Kuchuk. And these are the hours. It closed. It's supposed to be only until 3.30, so it's closed already. But this is Dr. Kuchuk. And that's his museum. First vice president. Actually it was his house and they made it a museum. There you go. Dr. Fazil Kuchuk. And then he tells you here the information about him. He graduated from the University of Lausanne in Switzerland in 35. And he returned to fly from Cyprus in 37, blah, blah, blah. And he opened up a clinic. All right. So this is the Halkin Sisi newspaper. This is the newspaper that he he founded. It's, I think the newspaper is still in, in, uh, in operation. You see Dr. Kuchuk lived from 1906, <coughs> 1984, is that correct? Yeah. So this is, the, this is the newspaper there, it's still in operation. And it's getting dark, ladies and gentlemen. This camera takes good uh, pictures in the dark. We'll be ready for the next video. Now we're gonna see. We're going to show you uh, on the south part of Gladiola Ferias where all the lights. So this is Chirinha Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful area. I just love the north part of Nicosia. I think it looks much better than the, the south part where I live. I mean, it has different characteristics. Like The architecture is pretty much the same. I think the same architects during the British era, or even before the British came, they, they, they kind of 
design both uh, both areas. At the time, Nicosia was not. We have to emphasize that it was not divided, and, it's, and this is the actual the the last uh, city, the last capital in the world, I think, that is divided. You have a Turkish side and a Greek side.